Welcome back to your video. In today's video, I'm going to be playing Six Guns. In today's video, I'm going to be building an industrial area, or well, expanding our industrial area from the last episode. And I'm going to be putting in actual zoned industry so we can get generic goods being made. Um, and then I add on to our commercial sector, and then also we rework our entrance to our city through the highway. But um, I first started by working on the industrial area, and I first started by doing simple grids, and um, I just came up here. And um, did it make sure to get rid of zoning on the main road since I didn't have buildings going on that, and then we wouldn't have cars obstructing the main road while going into their respective parking lots, or not parking lots, but their buildings. But um, I also wanted to put on the um, Industrial Evolution DLC um, or Conduct Creator Pack um, uh, building style, so um, I put that on, and so some of them I'm gonna leave them like the brick. Um, more 1930s, very old style, and some of them I will just like go to the modern style, which is most of them, but I just wanted to make it to where they aren't all the same, and it would give that a little bit of difference in the side of the building, um, inside the buildings inside our city, and it would just make it feel a bit more realistic. I added in this warehouse here just so this way um, it split up the area a bit more and gave us a different looking building and some of them was bigger than all the other buildings so it just felt it was different and it just made it feel a whole lot better in the area and made it more unique and also it's functionality and that allowed for us to store zoned um, goods or zoned raw materials in the area and so I had two warehouses for those and so those will get filled up or they might just sit empty it's whatever if they sit empty continued adding in more zoned um stuff and then um, i just did more grids and then i also just expanded our bus line for the workers in here And then with our bus line being very unpopular, or at least not having a whole load of people going on it, I just um, decided to get rid of most of the buses and also made the mini buses just because this is a work line. It's pretty much just get people from A to B in our industry area. So um, since it's that, I just did that, and I mean it wasn't getting much rides anyway, so um, it just made sense in your way. Then the buses won't take up as much space on the road. Although I did need to later on make the buses bigger just because we were starting to get a whole lot of people at the central city stop. And we, I mean, we still weren't getting really anyone in the industrial area, but that's fine because there's a whole lot of different stops in there. And so most people are spread out between all those stops and they combine all to become a similar size to the one stop inside a city where everyone is coming from and then going to the industrial area and going into their individual stops. 
unlike in the industrial area where they're coming in from multiple different spots and then they're all coming into one stop. Then from that one stop they can obviously take the train or other bus lines to get to where they want to in the city. But that um is with that and then for the commercial area just add it on to our leisure. Just bring down that commercial demand a bit and bring in some more of our industries and at least level up the ones we have too. And then we're starting to get a whole lot of traffic at our intersection coming in from the highway. So I decided to put in a roundabout. But this roundabout, it didn't really work out too well in that it didn't really fix our problem. So um, I'll need to find a better solution for it. Um, I even tried making it larger, which I'll show off in a little bit. But um, it doesn't really fix our problem. Not, but I'll figure out a fix to it at some point or I'll just deal with it for now and then as the city expands we'll obviously have more ways to get into the city than just this one spot. And then as I was talking about with making this roundabout bigger, um, all I did was pretty much just take the original um, plus sign the side that we had and just added on a little bit to it. Made it about double its size, which this didn't help um, either. I even tried messing with the roads in terms of making some one way, some two ways, some just one way. But it didn't really work out in the end, but um, I'll work more on that off camera. But that'll be it for this video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, like, subscribe, and do see you next one. Bye!